Hi everyone, my name is Marian, your technology friend. Today, we're going to be talking about Apple's made for MagSafe certification on iPhone 12 cases and answer if it's necessary for you to be looking out for this official certification by Apple. Also, you might be thinking, because there is an official certification, does that mean that not all MagSafe cases are officially certified by Apple? Unfortunately, yes, but does it matter? That's the question I'm going to answer in this video. And to help me test if Made for MagSafe certification is worth it, I partnered with Banks so I can get my hands on an official Made for MagSafe iPhone 12 mini case. Also, I will be giving away this case at the end of the video, so stay tuned. All right, without further ado, let's get started with the video. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, I recommend hitting that subscribe button below so you can get educational videos just like this and follow me on my social media so you can get real-time updates about the technology industry. So before we talk about the differences between official made for MagSafe and the generic compatible with MagSafe, let's define first what made for MagSafe certification means. So made for MagSafe is an official certification from Apple that certifies a product, whether it is a case, wireless charger, or any MagSafe accessory, has gone through Apple's compliance tests such as safety, durability, compatibility, and more. Additionally, made for MagSafe accessories typically involve a hardware component that is bought from Apple themselves, which in this case, no pun intended, it is this white MagSafe case module. Then when a company officially passes all the tests and gets the certification, they get the right to put the made for MagSafe badge artwork in the product box, marketing materials, and more, which is also the indicator for you, the consumers, that they're buying a certified product by Apple. But some of you might be thinking, what stops other companies from just taking that logo, photoshopping it, and putting it on their marketing materials? Aha, you guys are very smart. Well, there isn't. But I'm guessing they will be facing very expensive charges from Apple, and Apple also has a website where you can verify the made for MagSafe accessories. What you're looking at right now is this Banks Cases certification itself it is the same product code as the one in the box. If you're a tech nerd and this is also familiar with you, this is exactly the same program that Apple runs on third-party lightning cables, HomeKit accessories, and more, which is the MFI program. MFI meaning made for iPhone for those who don't know. And rumors are, because Apple wants to make a portless iPhone, it will essentially remove all their revenue from licensing Lightning accessories. And that is why they created a new certification, which is the made for MagSafe certification to bring back that lost revenue in the future. Talking about thinking ahead. Now, knowing the definition of made for MagSafe, you probably kind of already know the benefits of having this certification. But does it actually matter? So I have five cases right here. Two, official made for MagSafe, which includes this bank's official made for MagSafe and Apple's own leather case with MagSafe. The non-official MagSafe cases I have are this ESR soft case, Baseus leather case, and this generic, I really don't know what this is. It was like 100 pesos and I thought it looked cool, so I, I got it. Okay, so the very first difference that I found comparing official made for MagSafe and MagSafe compatible cases is that Non-official MagSafe cases have very inconsistent quality in terms of their magnetic strength. This ESR case actually has a nice strong hold, as strong as an official MagSafe case. But then, for this Baseus case, it has a noticeably weaker magnet. And then, for this generic case, the magnet is very strong, but it's not very precise in the circle. Like, you can stick this MagSafe wallet even on a line and it will stick to the case. It also disrupts wireless charging, like if it's not aligned perfectly in the circle, it doesn't work. Then for the official made for MagSafe cases, while there is still some differences in terms of magnetic strength, you won't have cases that work you know, as terrible as this generic case, and the level of quality is guaranteed to be good to great. Like if I rate these five cases in terms of MagSafe strength, it would be this case generic last, Baseus second to the last, 
ESR and Banks tied at second place because they're very close in terms of magnetic strength, even though the ESR is not officially made for MagSafe. And the best one is Apple's leather case, which costs probably twice as expensive than all of those cases combined. Additionally, I've also reached out to Banks directly to give me real world advantages of having an official made for MagSafe case. And they said, since their made for MagSafe case is certified, the product will not damage the motherboard due to unstable battery voltage. On non-official MagSafe cases like this generic case right here, magnets can be placed in the wrong location and cause a disruption on the magnetic field that a wireless charger and mobile phone has during the charging process. I also found this article by Pitaka that says wireless charging, also known as inductive charging, uses magnetic fields to transfer electricity wirelessly. Thus, magnets can cause interference with wireless charging, making it difficult for the two to pair together. But if magnets are placed correctly, then that does not become a problem, and that is why having a certified made for MagSafe case is safer and more reliable. Additionally, Banks told me that when voltage is unstable for a long time, mobile phones can experience system start of failure, no screen display, black screen of death when booting up, no power on, no sound, no call, no network, and more. Also, for bank-specific made-for-MagSafe case, they include a temperature control chip that communicates with your phone to ensure that your phone does not overheat. Take note that not all official made-for-MagSafe cases have this temperature control chip. This is exclusive to Banks case to create a better customer experience. You know, if you are interested in buying Banks official made-for-MagSafe case, I will be leaving a link in the description box below. Also, because I was able to partner with them, you can get a 15% off discount if you use the coupon code TECHFRIEND during checkout. Now for the giveaway, so I will be giving away this Banks made for MagSafe case for the iPhone 12 mini. All you need to do is one, subscribe to the channel. Number two, comment down below what you like about my channel and where should I improve on. And number three, follow me on Twitter and retweet the tweet that I should have tweeted about now about the giveaway. I will be putting all these steps in the description below so everything is clear. And also important to keep your DMs open since I will be contacting you through Twitter DMs if you win the giveaway. This giveaway is open for anyone in the Philippines. So there you go. I hope this video has been educational for you guys. Even if you're not participating in the giveaway, I hope you can share this video because I'm trying to grow my channel to 10,000 subscribers and you subscribing and sharing this video can help me out a lot. By the way, shout out to LG for following me on Instagram. And if you guys want a shout out as well, go and follow me on my three channels, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook with the username at Maoyoni. Other than that, I have other educational videos such as where to buy the cheapest iPhone, when is the best time to buy an iPhone, what is NTC, and many, many more. So make sure to check my other videos or click on this playlist right here. And that's it. This has been Marion, your technology friend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.